Hi, John. Welcome to our show. Thank you. We just saw you launch a book. Tell us about it. Tell us about well, the book, the author. Well, it's a uh, book uh, written by my sister. The author is my sister, Susie Matthew. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so excited to see her after such a long time because she lives in Bangalore and I live in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud uh, she's launched a book called, uh, she's written a book called In a Bubble of Time. Like the title of the, uh, the, of the book uh, makes me want to ask you this question. Like, you know, people often say that actors life, like actors live their life in a bubble. Do you think so? Not in my case. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always lived a life um, connected with my roots. Right, more That's, normal. Yeah. yeah, very normal. And um, I guess um, I'm happier that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm also very proud to be a part of the, the fraternity, the film fraternity. Yeah. So as much as uh, I was an outsider yesterday, I'm an insider today. Mm -hmm. But I lead a very normal life. Yeah. So be it, uh, you know, going to my mom's place. Mm -hmm. I live on bandstand. I go to a house, I go by rickshaw. But you know, after so many years in the industry, do you still feel a part of the race? Do you feel the heat? See, the Are reason why I've done, I started with a just and when I'm mm -hmm. producing a mm -hmm. Vicky donor uh, is because I really think, I, I believe I think differently. And I think the only person, again, who's thought differently and worked commercially is Amir Khan. And uh, I really believe that uh, I want to propagate the kind of cinema I believe is different and still commercial mm -hmm. and still go international. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do a Hollywood film and say, oh, I'm doing Hollywood. I'd rather do an Indian film that goes international and I can say, listen, this Indian film's gone international. Be it producing it, acting in it or directing wow. it. Yeah. So that's what I want to do. And I think, uh, you know, we've got the creative capacity and the talent and the talent pool to create the world's best and I'm mm. sure we will. You know, talking about Jusim, you made a brand out of it and you're not part of the sequel, you know. So don't you feel interesting on it? No, no, not yeah. at all. I mean, I made Boom, which yeah, I think actually. is my biggest brand. I'm not a absolutely, part of it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I don't feel any uh, uh, animosity or, you know, any yeah, yeah. sadness. Yeah. I think Riddhik took Doom to, to a different another level, level and Ahmed will take Doom to another level. Yeah. So I think one must understand and look at things very graciously and move on and appreciate mm. who's coming into that space totally. next. Um, it's nice to be a part of the brand, that's the beauty. Yeah. Be it Jisim, be it Doom, be it Dostana, be it uh, Desi Boys in the future, be it exactly. Houseful. I mean, I wasn't in Houseful 1, I mean, 2. I wasn't but you're in doing Base so many sequels this year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just think uh, it's nice to be part of a brand, but I uh, don't have any hard feelings. At the same time, I do believe that Mahesh Bhatt mm -hmm. is probably the, the reason for my success in this industry in the biggest possible way. Mm. Because I remember when I did Jisim, he said, son, I don't know whether you'll become a star, but people Sweet. will appreciate what you've done in this film. Wow. And I think for me, that was the biggest supporting factor. I mean, you've always taken up social causes and you've always spoken right. about it. So whether it's the movies you do, like, you know, like in Dostana, there were a touch of homosexuality, but it was, you know, funny way, but there was a message, right? Likewise, with you know, sperm donation that they're doing. So have you, like, vowed to take up these things even in movies? No, uh, honestly, Vicky Donor is a romantic comedy. Okay. It's a story There's of... There's no a, message kind of thing in there? I'll tell you, it's a story of a Punjabi boy and a Bengali girl. Uh -huh. You know, that's the story. Uh -huh. But uh, yes, there is uh, there is uh, the issue of yeah. sperm donation, which right, is taboo right. to speak Correct, about in absolutely, society, yeah. especially with men. When, Correct. You know, you talk about sperm donation, a man will be like, oh, is he questioning my man? Or, you <laughs> know, it gets into that space. And I think it's an area that needs to be caught out in the open, that needs to be discussed. It's just like Amit talking to surrogacy, you know, took it to another level and he was right. so brave to come on and talk about it. Yeah. Amit is a very, very credible person and he's an yeah. incredible actor and a very credible person. Yeah. I've always been a big fan of his and, you know, he's He's, he's, a, he's an absolute, like you said, an absolute perfect example for, for any cause for the matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. A lot of actors like to pen the autobiography. Would you ever want to do that? I don't think I am um, that much of, uh, I don't think I have that much of a legacy to pen my biography. I think but it'll, not now, uh, yeah. I mean, many years let's down the see, line. Let's see what I achieve in life. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm probably just started my race and literally started the race towards today. But anyway, I started <laughs> my race and uh, I have a long way to go. And uh, as and when I think I am in a position to write something that's worth it, I will. At this point of time, I don't think I'm really worth it. You know, I really need to do a lot more. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you. It was Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you.